I did it, I finally bought the monitor of my dreams. I replaced two of my 27 inch Dell monitors with this enormous, this amazing, this panoramic 49 inch curved Samsung Odyssey G9. So for a non-gamer buying a gaming monitor for just normal day-to-day -day work, was it all worth it? I've wanted this monitor since it came out, since I got serious about my working from home setup. The problem was that my Mac Mini, the 2020 version, uh, this is an i7 version, couldn't drive the pixels on this, couldn't drive the resolution I was looking for. That was until very recent versions of the Mac operating system. I'd recently stumbled across a forum which was talking about the fact that the Mac Mini can now drive that 5120 by 1440 resolution that these 49 inches deserve. So as fast as that, I had two of my 27 inch Dell monitors on eBay up for sale and I have this bad boy on order. I'm not going to do an unboxing video, there are plenty of those about. Suffice it to say this came in an enormous box and it really did take a couple of people to get it up and on the desk. So I'm a full-time employee running software projects. I spend most of my time sat here on calls, presenting and managing a team. Outside of my day job, I also do a bit of writing, create some videos now and again, and also develop training courses. So these are my first impressions after using this monitor, not as a gamer, but as a productive office worker and part-time creative. First off, how did I mount this monitor? I knew with the legs that came with it that it would have to sit really far forward. I'd seen that on previous videos and, and other reviews on YouTube. So I bought the best monitor arm that you could possibly get, which is the Ergotron Desk Monitor Arm with Heavy Tilt Pivot. This is by far the best monitor arm that I've ever seen. It's rock, rock solid, and it's definitely worth the money for something so heavy as this. And it actually allows now this monitor to sit really far back on the desk. The great news is that this monitor just works straight out of the box with the Mac Mini i7 version that I've got. Straight away I was able to get those 5120 by 1440 pixels on this display. And the reality is that this is truly mind blowing and actually the third monitor that I had previously, which is now my second, still works perfectly fine and that's a 1440p. 27 inch QHD monitor. So the first impressions are quite staggering. Now the curve is incredible. And when you when you first get this out of the box and you sit it on the desk, it's unbelievable at how big that curve is. And it's designed actually to match the uh, curvature of your eye so that you can just move your eyes from left to right and not need to move your neck to kind of look around. Now I've tried every possible monitor configuration you can have with the three monitors I had previously. And I've loved them all, but I absolutely love this. Having that main task in front of you, the center of the screen with other tasks on the periphery with no bezel in the middle is absolutely staggering. As soon as I got it, and like the giant geek that I am, I immediately trawled for the best wallpaper I could to show off this incredible display. And now find myself just staring at it like a work of art. After a couple of weeks of now using this in anger, there are a few points that are worth sharing. Firstly, the curve is nowhere near as extreme as other reviews may make it seem to be. The first 30 minutes or so of using the G9 had me feeling a bit weird and the curvature was really apparent at that point in time. My eyes struggled a bit and even small windows looked a little bit odd. After some real use, however, just for an hour or so, my eyes adapted and now I can just take this in in its full glory. I love this monitor. I will often have multiple windows open at any point in time. Things 3, my calendar, Teams, maybe a presentation or Outlook open on the display. I can work on a presentation, make notes and have everything I need all just a glance away. Remember that this is the equivalent of two QHD monitors, which is what I had previously, but it does offer more. I always felt like I favored one side or the other, but that just simply isn't the case anymore. I can work on full screen spreadsheets, multiple things at once or just focus and narrow in on one thing. There are some surprising first impressions also. I actually wish it was wider. I think they've done such an amazing job of getting everything within your field of view that it actually makes you want more. I think that maybe another six inches either side would make this an even more immersive experience and for those with slightly wider desks like I've got here I think that'd be absolutely fantastic. And in the spirit of always wanting more, this is the same as two QHD monitors, but I'd like to see more pixels. And I'm sure down the road, you'll be able to drive more pixels with something like this. There'll be another generation of monitor like this, which will drive more. I've got a couple of minor issues also. Firstly, the, the monitor doesn't seem to stay asleep. It seems to be triggering my Mac Mini to wake up. Previously with my 
older setup, I'd be able to put the Mac to sleep and it would stay asleep. Now I find it randomly waking up and I've tried to fault find, it looks like it's the monitor, but I'll still carry on looking at that. The second issue that I've got is the fact that I've got this fully standing desk, which I absolutely adore, but because of the weight of this monitor, because of the weight of that arm, the shake that already existed to some degree on this monitor is now even more apparent, especially at height. Now, I can kind of deal with that. I'm so used to focusing on the thing that's on the screen at any point in time that I don't always see that wobble, but for some that might be a bit of a problem. This is really, really heavy as a monitor and it just exaggerates uh, that, that kind of shake that you get. First impressions though, that this is a beautiful and productive monitor. I'm all about loving your desk, loving your setup, and having a place that you really want to work in. And this is it. This is it for me. I feel every day, every morning that I come to sit at this desk that I've stepped into the future. There's definitely no going back and my Instagram pictures have definitely improved as a result. I just need to figure out how to get the second one on. This guy's good. 